so, so, so I'm in fuck with a G, girl, you already know I got a hundred on me for the night Shawty, don't you leave for the night No, you don't know my name Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did my ball cap method. I actually haven't been doing ball cap methods for a long time, but today I decided to show you guys how I do my ball cap methods and to make sure that it's nice and protective for your sideburn. And if you want to put your hair up, the wig is going to look like your sideburns. So today that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also want you guys to comment down below right now and tell me what you want for christmas i don't know it's just random but i want to know what you want for christmas so i can get some ideas because i don't know what i want for christmas yet so yeah comment down below so i can know this hair is provided by beauty forever hair this is their 24 inch curly transparent frontal it is a 13 by 6 frontal this wig is 230 dollars and 13 cents if the information i'm not saying as i always say check my description box it will have all the correct information and yeah let's get right into this video <laughs> okay you guys really quick i'm gonna show you my ball cap so all i'm gonna be using today is so okay if you watch me you would know that i don't wear a ball cap whatsoever i normally wear two caps a light one and a dark one just to compress my hair and then i do my glueless installs but today i'm gonna show you how i do my ball cap to make sure that all your hair is covered and i know most people have problems with lifting right here at the sideburn area so i'm gonna show you how i keep those down so this is the stocking cap i'm going to be using today you can use a lighter one just make sure that it's not darker than your skin tone and you will be perfectly fine so you can use the got to be free spray i normally use the got to be free spray but my hairspray today is my big sexy hairspray you don't you do not need to get this i just can't find my got to be free spray so yeah the heat the adhesive my ghost mon xl looks like this you could get it from Hair dot no, I'm not sure. I think it's hair diagram. I don't know. Just search up Ghost Bond and you can find it on Amazon and stuff like that too. If you guys watch my how to match your lace with your foundation with your face video, you will know that I always use this. This is my Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator two sided foundation. It looks like this. And I use the color 14. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my head and you guys can watch exactly what I'm doing. And I will come back when I have more commentary. Oh, also, I'm going to link up in the eye above my braid pattern video so you guys can see. These are like four day old. No, actually, they're like three day old braids. So you guys can watch how I do my braid pattern. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I just take my stocking cap and I stretch it just because it's going to be a little bit tight when you put it on your ear on your head and I don't want it smushing my ears because of my piercings so normally I would just spray back like the edges area so you could do that like just like that I don't like doing that but if you're going to have your wig stuck down for some time you want to do this that what does that what that does is just it's smooth it was it's gonna smooth back all the little baby hairs and all those little hairs on your forehead so it's not getting caught in the glue and make sure you do your sideburn area because right here the hair could be let me zoom up so you guys can see what i mean like right here the hair could kind of be all over the place so you want that to sleek out itself so all i'm gonna do is spray some of this hairspray on it so you guys can see a demonstration and I go ahead and that basically smooths the hair up and not have it like all wild and stuff it just helps you make sure that that hair is smooth right there so I'm going to do the same thing to this side Okay, and now you see how it's nice and smooth in this position. So now I'm going to just pull down my cap over my head like so. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut off my ear tabs. Not my ear tabs, but my ear hole. 
And this is Glamazante's method. If you guys watch my my older videos, you would know that I used to glue my wigs down. And this is the method I used to use. So, so just take your time and kind of cut it a little bit close to that band. Just so you have some space. And you're not ripping too much. You want to make sure that you're cutting right here. So when you do this, it's going to be as close as possible. Because I know that some people, um, right here, the hole starts opening out too wide and you would see your sideburn area and then that just defeats the purpose of protecting your sideburn in your hair so both sides should be covered like if you look right here you would see like it's really close to my ear on both sides that's important okay so now we're gonna go ahead and spray our whole front of our head you want to make sure you're looking into your mirror just to see where your hairline is because you want to make you want to focus before your hairline so make sure that you're getting before your hairline. So all I'm going to do, just watch what I'm going to do. And smooth it back. Smooth back, just so that it's not running down your face. And over here is the most important part. So spray quite a bit on the side. That's important. And after I do that, the first thing I focus on is making sure that my sides are stuck. That's the most important part to me. I need to make sure that the sides are stuck because it doesn't matter as long as you're walking around and stuff. The front area, like if you're just cleaning up around your house or something, you could leave the front area to dry on its own. But the side area, you need to make sure that it's stuck because you just like stand like this and wait in. It's not going to be like right here has an opening. You need to make sure that that is stuck. So all I'm going to do is I normally take... A comb, a rat tail comb. I really like these type of combs because of the metal. The metal piece is very small, and I use my blow dryer medium speed, low heat, and I'm gonna blow the side area, concentrating on the sideburns. And then it should be like smushed to your head. I'm just, it's pretty dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm using just a regular foundation brush and I'm dipping it in, like I'm pushing it into the foundation and I'm going ahead and I'm pressing it onto the front area. You don't need to put it on the whole thing. Just make sure you have it on the front area. That's the most important part. And you could do it a little bit before the, um, the hairline just to make sure that when you cut off that lace you don't have to go back in with foundation okay and make sure you get the sideburn area too like right here because you're gonna see that in your wig that's really important that you do that y'all y'all should realize how much i love y'all because i don't ever be doing no ball cap method but a lot of people have been asking me to do a ball cap method video so I haven't glued my wig down in really long besides the time like when I went to New York and I glued down my my blonde wig but yeah okay and your wig your ball cap should look like this let me zoom in a bit it should look like this and sitting around your ear nicely now all I'm gonna do is go in and cut off that that um extra cap. Okay. I guess I'm gonna keep this cap on for a little while. Okay, so I'm gonna use some scissors. All my scissors are so dull. So forgive me for my struggle that's about to happen. Okay, I'm going to cut off this. And this is how 
your ball cap should look. So now with this, these extra pieces at the back, I would normally cut them off or I would just sew down, sew down along my per perimeter braid, which is that braid at the back of my wig. But I'm not going to do that because I only do that when I'm actually going somewhere. But since I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, um, it should look like this, right? And then I'm going to just cut off this excess piece of cap. Okay. And you can cut off any extra cap that you feel like is unnecessary. Like go back in and make adjustments to your head. Okay, so this is how my cap looks. It's nice and seamless. Make sure you have some space right here. So you have space to glue because Don't cut off too much of the cap because you don't want to accidentally cut it and then you cut off your hair, but your cap should look like this, right? I wanna go in and cut some off of right here. Oh, this is good enough for me. I don't wanna cut too much and then <laughs> it'd be a mess, but you see this? Now I'm gonna go in and clean off around my head and right here with some alcohol just to make sure that my ad ad adhesive sticks to my skin properly and I don't break out. guys this is the end of the video comment down below and tell me if you learned anything from this video anything that i showed you in this video that you learned comment down below let me know do not forget to like and subscribe also turn on your post notification bell the bell so you can be notified every time i post a video tell me how you guys are feeling about this hair color if you guys want to see this hair color i will have the links in my description box so you guys can check it out i have a few videos on my channel showing you how to get this hair color because i really like curly hair in highlights so if you guys want to see this i will link it down below in the description box and also in the eye above so you guys can check it out thank you guys so much for watching i will definitely see you in my next video bye Got on it on me for the night, shawty, don't you leave for the night, no, you don't know my name.